Hello, Stampers. How are you? It is Wednesday, October the 20th, and I am Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And I am just getting set up here on my iPad. If you can give me a moment, there I am. Just going to make sure it's working. And then I can see comments. <clears throat> Oh, it's one of those days. Okay, let me get... I have a tornado, again, that has gone off in my room. As I'm getting ready for our retreat. Alright, it says it's working, but I don't know. It's looking awfully like it's not working. Let me see if you guys are here. I don't know what's going on. It's not working very well. All right, let's hope that it's not the actual video, that it's just my iPad, and that it's frozen. Not a good start to the night. All right, let me just see. There's one person here. If you can let me know if it's working okay or if it's frozen, because my iPad is frozen, so I will not be able to see comments at all. Um, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to hope that it's just my iPad and uh, that everything is working well. So we're gonna make this super cute and easy card tonight. Um, it's featuring the, it, it's a bundle, but I actually don't use the stamp set. We're just gonna use the Christmas tree dies and these are just gorgeous. Um, I, I wasn't too sure about this bundle when, I, when it first came out. Um, and I think the reason is because I'm a really, I'm a traditional Christmas color kind of gal. I like the reds and the greens and the navy blues. Um, and this one in the catalog is actually a lot of pinks. And so I, I didn't go to it right away. Um, but I'm really happy that I got it because this paper is stunning. And I love the die sets. So we're going to make a super easy, super cute card, hopefully tonight, if my iPad is working. Um, I can't see, again, my iPad is not functioning right now. So if you are here, leave me a comment. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, so we're going to, let me just pull out this paper so you can see. Look at how beautiful this is. And it's a specialty paper, so there's some um, iridescent metal in here. Can you see that glittering? It is so pretty. And oh, we're gonna use this one tonight. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it, love it. These you can just cut out. You have a beautiful backing and then just some stripes. You can color this if you want, get any color background you want. And then on the back, it's just some really fun patterns okay so not your traditional Christmas colors but beautiful beautiful paper okay so to make this card we're gonna actually do it in um, a mint macaron okay so we're gonna do it in green so we have a piece of mint macaron it is just a normal piece of DSP cut in half hey Chris hey Martin I'm glad that it's working now finally my iPad was like showing slow motion, so it was like one hand moving like this, and I'm like, oh, that feels how, but it's moving kind of the way I feel right now, so <laughs> it's just been one of those days. Okay, so squirrel, I'm, I'm back. Um, so it's eight and a half by five and a half, and we are just going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay. And if you had a bone folder, you could use that. But I'm just gonna flip it. So how's your weeks going? Hopefully you guys are having a good time. Um, so, and then I just have a piece, let me move the stamps out of the way. I have a piece of basic white um, and it's five and a quarter by four or four by five and a quarter. And I just ran it through the stamp and cut and boss machine with the Tasteful Textures uh, 3D embossing folder, just to get a little bit of texture here. And then 
we have a piece of DSP. This is, I have a piece of dog hair too. Um, this is one and a half um, by five. I'll put all of these in the in my blog post after, so you don't have to worry about it. Another piece of mint macaron just to go as a border behind that. Okay, and then we have a Christmas tree that I cut out with the die. So you can see I simply just used, let me pull out the one I used. Um, and I just did this ahead because I don't think you want to see me struggle too much. So I just pulled out um, this guy, cut him out. Actually, I didn't, I cut out the big one right here. Okay, cut him out. And then with the, um, uh, the evergreen embossing folder, I ran it through just to give the tree a little bit of texture. Isn't that kind of cool? It just adds just that little bit of extra to it. So that is pretty much, okay, this is going to really bother me. I have a piece of dog fur caught under there. Um, that is pretty much it. The only thing that we need to do is we need to cut out our tinsel and some of these stars and some of these baubles. So the baubles are there. It's really cool. You can cut out eight at a time. And the stars are like this and you can cut out a whole bunch at a time. So I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. So are you guys having um, a good week? I hope. I'm gonna bring in my baby boss. Isn't this thing so cute? It is just adorable. Okay, and then I have um, a piece of the silver foil paper here. Um, and I have put some adhesive on the back because this one is not an easy one to glue down. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm just gonna cut that out and then I'll just put the baubles on either side and the stars. And we'll just give that a quick run through. I'm gonna hopefully have enough room on my desk. Oh, it's not gonna go. Okay, why is it not going? Let me, there we go. It's because I can't get it started. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, have you guys heard of the sale that is on today from Stamping Up? 15% off of every cling mount other than host in from the annual catalog so that is an awesome deal 24 hours only so it ends tonight just before midnight so make sure you take advantage of that it's just it's a flash sale that we're having so exciting like i need more stamps right i guess we always need more stamps all right and we're going to get to see the new catalog. We have convention in a couple of weeks. Oh, it didn't cut all the way through. I'm just going to pull that off. Okay, let me, um, let me just run it through. I'm not going to put it back on here again. I'll just run it through off camera so that you guys don't have to uh, see me struggle. It's because the plate was at the very end. It didn't cut the bottom. Oh, this is not going to work for me, is it? One moment. We're almost there. Okay. Running it through. So you do have to make sure you don't do what I did there and not have your plates lined up. Okay, I'm destroying my DSP. <laughs> oh, it's just a comedy of errors. I guess I'm keeping it real soon. All right, that is much better. It has come out. That's what we want to see. Okay. Do you guys just ever have one of those days? Hey. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this out so I can get it out. So I do have the adhesive on the back. It just makes it a lot easier. I now have bubbles lying all over the place. Um, so I'm just gonna stick these out so we can play with those. And 
stick out the stars so we can play with those. And because these are little, I am going to put them away before I lose them. So just give me one second because I will drop them somewhere. All right, that's it. Other than stamping, we have a piece of cardstock here that I have cut out. And of course, and I have to remember, I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe these are from the, it is, from the seasonal label dies. So I just cut out two, one um, in mint macaron and one in white, basic white that we're going to stamp on. So let me get this out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pull out my ink. And this is the only stamping other than, of course, the inside that we're going to do. Um, and I'm not even straight here. Okay, so I should have a, a mat underneath here, but I'm going to take my chances. There we go. So we're going to put that aside and we're going to close up our ink. So what I found was the best way to get this on here. So we do want to line it up all the way to the very top and then it fits perfectly, right? And see how it comes down. Um, but because this is so flexible, I don't want to peel it all off at, the, at once. So I'm just going to start and I'm going to peel some of the adhesive back off. And if you were coordinated, you probably didn't don't have to do this, but I am not coordinated. So I just want to make sure that I am lining it up in the best way possible. So you can see I just started it and now I'm just going to keep pulling a couple layers down and sticking it down, pulling a couple layers down, sticking it down. You could do this with glue, you could do it with any other adhesive. Um, it's just not very thick, so I would probably make a huge mess if I used glue. You guys know me and glue, it would be everywhere. All over me, all over the desk, all over the card. So, now what I want to do once I get down to the bottom is I want to, I want to place the bottom one down and then I'm just going to work up. So if I need to squish some, I can squish it and it doesn't look too bad. And it's not hanging over the bottom. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? Oh, and it's so simple. So this is a perfect card for making a whole bunch of um, Christmas cards. Because it's quick, it's easy, it doesn't use a lot of DSP. And let me tell you, this DSP is gorgeous. So I'm just going to peel off the adhesive back stick the star on the top and and if you get um, annoyed pulling off the adhesive backs you can just put a dab of glue underneath them I will probably be doing a dab of glue by the end because <laughs> me tonight I have no patience oh I will push that one down Oh, thank you. It is beautiful DSP, Martin. It's um, it's stunning. And I almost didn't get it because, I, I, again, I wasn't fond of those colors as Christmas colors. But I'm so happy that I overcame my biases and, and broke down and got it because I love it. I just started playing with it, actually, on Monday. I don't have my head in the camera. I just realized I'm leaning over. All right. I kind of want one more on here. I went in the wrong direction. Let me just see if I can get this backing off. Okay, where should I stick it? This backing is not going to come off. So I'm going to just... Um, okay, where do I want it? put it down here. Actually, that's going to be covered, so I'm not going to put it down there. I'm going to put it right here. Um, that'll be covered by the sentiment. 
So you can pick this up with your take a pick tool or your fingers and just stick it down. Cute, eh? All right, now that's it, guys. We are ready to assemble. So I'm just going to stick. So uh, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for my uh, Peaceful Cabin class. We're going to be doing some techniques, so I do hope you join me. It's, uh, you do need the bundle, though. Um, and if you do purchase the bundle for me, the class is free. And it is a really cute card, card class, so I hope you guys join me. Tomorrow, again, is the last day to register. If I'd known they were having the stamp sale, I would have had it today. So I could do it all in one order. All right. So I'm just going to glue this down. You guys are going to have to tell me which one you like better. The Knight of Navy card or the Mint Macaron. Okay, and I guess we could, you know what, we could pop the tree up, but I'm going to pop the sentiment up instead. So let's just glue this down. <clears throat> I got to change my, um, oh, I lost my bobble. Got to find it. Um, I have to change my schedule now that it's getting dark. We're walking the dog in the dark every day, and he's not getting much of a walk because we can't go in the forest and let him run. So I'm going to have to figure that out. All right. Stick it down. And if your glue doesn't work, this will work. I just got it off. Um, you can use glue dots as well. So... For this one, I wanted it to be sticking out both ends, and this isn't obviously long enough. So, if I could find my paper snips, here they are. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little trick. I'm just gonna cut one end off, and I'm gonna cut the other end off, and then I'm just gonna glue those on the back, and it gives it the illusion that I have two pieces there. Isn't that neat? So you can do stuff like that to um, give yourself a border when you don't have one. I just thought it uh, really benefited from having the extra little piece there. And we'll stick this here. Make sure it's about the same size and not hanging out the edge. There we are, and we need some dimensionals. Oh, look, almost a new pack. I've gone through so many of these in the last um, couple weeks. I am getting ready to do a Christmas card buffet gonna try it I've never done one a virtual one before so this will be interesting Let's see how it works I probably should have put the tree up a little bit but I didn't really want it floating um, so we're just gonna stick it right about here and then I need to find my little stars so I want to stick my stars at, I'm gonna use my stars as embellishments um, so I'm gonna use glue dots because well I made a mess with the glue on that. So the glue dot is actually too big. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish it up and make a little make a little glue dot booger here. Okay, so you can squish it so you can't see it hanging off the side. And isn't that cute? And again, I'm gonna squish it. I really should have done my nails again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Chris. Little tips, eh? The things, the things we learn. Oh, okay. So, does this one have... This does. I don't need a glue dot. Now that I have a glue dot on my finger. Okay, we're going to stick that one right about here. So, I'm using this um, embellishment on the tree as my triangle for my embellishments. So what do you guys think? Okay, let me take this out of the plastic. 
Which one do you like better? It's both using DSP from um, the same pack. Which one? Green? Let me pull it out into the camera. I have repetitive movements. It's funny. Uh, that You see, that's what was happening um, at the beginning. So I don't know. It must be my internet. I'm sorry. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Okay, well let me know which one you like best. Um, I'm kind of, I'm an I'm a a navy person, but I actually love the mint macaron. So I I don't know, I can't decide. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, sorry if the internet was a little bit uh, wonky. Hey Linda, how's it going? Um, so don't forget about the sale. It ends tonight at, uh, I think it's 10 to midnight mountain time. 15% um, off of all of the cling mounts. So that's the red rubber stamps that's in the annual catalog. So it's an amazing deal. 24 hours only. So you don't want to miss it. If you need any help, let me know and I can help you place an order. And I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you next week. Bye for now.